Well, hey guys, we are here at Walmart. It's December and they have a ton of fun holiday skincare sets and skincare products just for the holidays. So let's investigate. Son of a nutcracker. Look, you guys, e.l.f. makeup. This Revolution brand, they are all about the like, you know, collaborations. What is this? An e.l.f. micellar cleanser, do not drink. Uh, okay, let's see. So y'all know I'm not like, the biggest fan of micellar waters not because i think they're bad or anything they just don't really work well for me but an elf one that is so cute does it have fragrance yes it does linaloo fragrance compound that can um oxidize and be more sensitizing that's something that if somebody's gonna be triggered to develop sensitivity and become allergic to fragrance, it's something like that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, even though I just said fragrance, this perfume is so good. Um, I'm wearing it currently. I am in love with it. I didn't know Walmart had it. Um, yeah, even though I caution about fragrance being a common allergen, I do wear perfume and this, this is so good. We even have Christmas music playing in the background. Look at this cute little elf snowball palette. Oh my gosh. You get some eyeshadows there. It's too adorable. What else do we have here? We have mascara. Oh, look at the snowflake on the blush. All right, I need to calm down. These actually look pretty good. What do we have down here? We have Pore Vanish. This is some sort of makeup base. Does it have silicones in it? No, it's castor oil, niacinamide. It does have fragrance. Now, niacinamide is helpful for um, oily skin. can diminish the appearance of pores, probably by just cutting down on the oxidation of sebum and helping to control acne a bit through anti-inflammatory effects. What is this? Prime Mist. I guess this is a makeup setting spray. You guys can't even see it because the camera's not focusing. Um, these can be drying and irritating. They have alcohol in them, which isn't bad, but just an FYI. They have a matte primer and then they have a spray. They have a hydrating primer and then they hyd they hydrate. Oh, I see. So it's primer and um, like setting fixing mist more holiday goodies from Dove okay I was just saying the other day how Dove body washes are just not really my jam I find they're kind of filmy I gravitate towards Dove for their hair care uh, the whole core to moisturizer thing I don't know a consistent it's just a consistency thing for me I've not always been such a fan but peppermint bark oh my gosh you guys and sugar cookie i think they're definitely com see you can't call yourself like the sensitive skin friendly body wash and then be coming out with all of these really tempting scents cinnamon pumpkin pie oh my gosh i want to try all of these i fall for the gimmicks too you guys caress has a shea butter and brown sugar exfoliating body wash Caress had pretty good body washes if you're going to go with a scented one. Whenever I talk to you guys about body washes, I have to point out, you only need a quarter sized amount. So if you buy this, you're going to be using the sugar cookie or the peppermint bark well, you know, pretty much for months and months and months. So you better like it. These scrubs, I've tried these before from Dove a long time ago. They're okay. They're kind of messy to work with but uh, they have um, compound, they have little particulates in them that deform on the skin surface to kind of kick off cornea sites that are trying to shed. So they're not as abrasive as like those particles in a lot of harsh scrubs, but I don't know. To me, it was, they're kind of unwieldy. Like you want to be using that in the shower. The shower water's running, stuff gets in there. I, I don't know, I don't get the appeal. They even have the pumpkin pie in the beauty bar. Now, this would probably be, you know, this would be a good use out of this. Put this in like your sock drawer or something and make your socks smell good just to put the bar in there. It helps deodorize the linen drawers and make your linen smell nice. Ooh, these are exciting. These Dashing Diva 
ready to wear gel nails. You have to be careful though, the gel, what, what is this? Just like a little adhesive. How do you do these before I go on a tangent? So this, this isn't like actual gel polish, but the gel manicures, um, the stuff they put on, the acrylate monomers, before they polymerize, they can be very sensitizing. And a lot of people develop allergy to, to those, those things. But these little stickers, now you can be allergic to the adhesive in these for sure. But honestly, how adorable. That's almost worth contact sensitization for. Oh, look at these. Man, Dashing Diva. This whole section over here, I need to, I need to step away. So Pop Sugar has a line of body products. They have these magnesium flakes. Now check out my video on magnesium. Uh, it does have some anti-inflammatory properties applied topically. I mean, it's really important for barrier function, but of course skincare brands take it all the way, you know, they take a little bit of, of science and they just run with it. Um, so this looks like it would be relaxing, although the problem with this is you're basically soaking in a tub of scented oil. Um, so all that fragrance and stuff is gonna get all over your skin, which a lot of people might like. Um, just be aware this stuff can end up being irritating to the skin in the long run. What in the 1987 do we have here? Who remembers these? Like, this was something that I used to buy every Christmas and give as gifts, bath beads. They came in like, oftentimes this little square full of bath beads and I was always, I would always come to Walmart and buy them. I'm not I'm not making this up just because I'm in here shopping with you guys. Walmart, I used to come and buy all of these like bath and body gift sets back in the day and give to give as as Christmas gifts. Shower steamers. This is a recipe for eyelid dermatitis right here. The uh, um, because when you're in the shower, especially if it's hot and steamy in there, the skin barrier is just soaking stuff up much more readily. This stuff comes up, settles on your skin around your eyes, which the skin there is delicate, and it also ends up getting trapped there because when you blink, it kind of sucks the stuff up close to the skin. So that's something where, you know, you could develop an eyelid dermatitis just from the scented mist. Man, what is with the decorative nails? I am totally here for it. You have these cute ones with the little candy canes from Impress. Kiss, Vogish Fantasy. Look at this one with the little reindeer. This is new, Lumen. Looks like they have quite a lot of the daily face moisturizer, um, but not much else. Marketed as skincare defense for men. Okay, so men can use the same facial moisturizer as women. This is just marketing. That being said, men do have thicker skin, larger oil glands, so they, you know, can have you know, more specific needs. This is a scented moisturizer with niacinamide, which is good for oily, breakout prone skin. It's also good for redness and hyperpigmentation. You also have um, Asiatica side, which comes from Centella and is anti-inflammatory. There's some peptides in there for hydration. Check out these scented cuticle oils. I'm telling you, just use petroleum jelly on your fingers. You will thank me. It is so, it is so good for um, dry, cracked cuticles and just helping because the proximal nail fold helps to protect the uh, nail matrix, the part that grows the nail. And like, if it gets disrupted, like you push your cuticles back too much, water and bacteria and stuff can get in there and make your nails ridge and become brittle. So this, you know, the issue of course is gonna be, you could become allergic to the fragrance. Whereas plain mineral oil or petroleum jelly, almost non-existent to become allergic to. Oh look, they have an anti-nail biting treatment here. This stuff is very effective, aversion therapy. Um, cause biting one's nails is, um, a difficult habit to break. Yeah, it's called onychophagia. What is this? Steel nails, hyaluronic acid, nail hardener, onion bulb extract, keratin, nitrocellulose. 
Um, you know, patients when they're going through chemotherapy, um, certain types of chemotherapy in particular can really leave the nails uh, very brittle. Um, and so I'll, actually these kind of things are, are recommended in that situation to help with the nail fragility. This stuff works really well. As a side note, the Sesh Beat for drying nail polish. Looks like Bubble has a little starter set. You get their Fresh Start Gel Cleanser, which I've used and it's pretty good. The Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer and you get a Balancing Mist. Um, unfortunately, the Balancing Mist does have fragrance, so I, I wouldn't recommend that. You know, misting that on the face. Um, it's got rose flower water, glycerin, niacinamide. I mean, there's really not much need for that. Just introduces another variable into your routine. The cleanser is okay. I've used that before. The Slam Dunk Hydrating Moisturizer is pretty good too. I've, I've used that as well. You know, this, this whole bubble skincare, the tween age group is really getting into skincare. Like if you go on TikTok, there are tons of like 10 year olds who are really into skincare. Like they're, they're estimated to, to constitute a big chunk of holiday skincare spending is for that age group. Um, and it's okay to have kids getting into, you know, cleansing, moisturizing. And of course I heavily push kids to get into wearing sunscreen. But then you start getting in this territory where like an eight-year-old does not need an anti-aging serum. Walmart always had this Duke Cannon stuff. I think they have. What is this? Bloody Knuckles Hand Repair Balm is actually pretty good. And I believe, yeah, it's fragrance-free. The flavorant in the lip balm, you would have to be aware of the fact that's a common reason for irritation from lip care products. But it's an organic sunscreen, so that's good for protecting the lips. You also get a cooling field towel with glycerin and fragrance. I don't know if that's like a wipe. And then you get a face lotion. The face lotion has zinc in it, which is anti-inflammatory, argan oil and emollient, shea butter for reducing water loss. I'm not seeing fragrance, but the font here is really tiny. Dimethicone makes for a lightweight. This actually is a kind of a good little set. $15 um, for the winter survival tube. Um, this would be a good gift, actually. Um, I think that would be a good gift. You had the hand cream, lip SPF, a face moisturizer, and I don't know what these field towels are for. You get three of them. Speaking of SPF lip balm, this is a good one from Banana Boat. I actually haven't tried this one with aloe in it, but otherwise it's free of fragrance and flavorant. Um, it's an organic sunscreen, very moisturizing. This is great if you, um, you know, have to spend time outside shoveling snow and the like. Uh, you do need to be protecting your skin and lips are prone to becoming chapped in the cold winter months, especially with cold winds. Um, so you need to both be protecting from uh, sun as well as as well as dry winter air. Coconut oil is kind of an underrated um, moisturizing ingredient. A lot of people, you know, worry that it's going to break them out, but um, it, it doesn't always. I mean, it, it's kind of a myth that it's comedogenic because we really don't have research showing that. And it's it's you know what breaks one person out is completely different for another. Oh, Mario Badescu. These no one needs. <laughs> I'm surprised they're still around, but they definitely ha definitely have fallen in popularity. Like, you don't see people getting excited about these on TikTok, which I'm, I'm happy about, because this used to be so popular, this brand. They've really, they have really fallen out of the limelight. Head and Shoulders has come out with some new shampoos. Zinc Pyrithium 1% instead of 2%. Uh, so you're getting 45% less plastic and 50% less active ingredient. Um, it still has fragrance, but in contrast to their other, their classic one, doesn't appear to have um, methyl isothiazolone. That's a preservative that is um, commonly, you can, you can develop an allergy to. I try and avoid it in hair care products. Looks like you have pure clean and then you have soothing hydration. 
Now, zinc pyrithione is good for dandruff as well as if you live in a humid climate and you deal with a lot of conditions related to malassezia, like tinea versicolor, pityriasis folliculitis, uh, malassezia folliculitis, aka what people refer to as fungal acne. You can use this as a body wash to control those things. All right, we have a bunch of body wash type gift sets here in the front. These are $10, the Dove Men Care, Dove Men Care, Dove Men Care. <laughs> I don't know why that was a mouthful for me. Obviously these are all gonna be scented. This thing, I remember seeing this a couple of years ago in Target and thinking it looked a little like a jock strap, but I digress. Uh, there, is this a deodorant? Yeah, a deodorant is just a, a fragrance in a stick doesn't really cut down on sweat. So that's, you know, just a potential contact dermatitis there, unless you really like it and find that it helps mask body odor. But for a lot of people, when they use deodorant, um, their sweat plus the fragrance in the deodorant, it, it's, not, it's not a good mix. A lot of people discover that when they try and use the natural deodorants, uh, air quotes, the fragrance in the natural deodorants, you know, they're like, why does this smell so bad? Well, it's, it's not really addressing the, the issue. Um, so this is not an antiperspirant. It's not going to cut down on sweat outflow. Uh, then you have a clean comfort body and face wash. Nothing magic in that. I don't know. That doesn't seem like... It seems like a good price if you're already buying this kind of stuff. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is not, not it. Axe. I feel like Axe is the male version of Sol de Janeiro cream. Like, it's so strongly scented. It lingers. Uh, it's really intense. What do you get here with Axe? Um, you get... Is that a body wash? Phoenix body wash? Let's, let's flip her around. Here you actually get an antiperspirant. Um, granted, it's Axe. And so you, you get something that's actually going to cut down on sweat output, which is the sweat that gets broken down by the bacteria under your arm and cause body odor. You get a body wash and a body spray. It's the body spray that's like, oh, geez, somebody, somebody take that away. <laughs> Now, raw sugar has pretty nice body washes, I will say. I mean, they all have fragrance in them, but they're they're pretty nice. Uh, their, their body washes are actually pretty good. I've tried one before um, a couple of years ago, and I, I liked it. Um, what do you get here? You get a body wash and a shampoo and a conditioner for $10. Oh, you get two body washes and a shampoo and conditioner. Not too bad. The watermelon apple, I have to admit, that scent sounds like it would be good. You get a bath and body wash, you get a body lotion, and you get a shampoo conditioner mambo combo. Uh, speaking of shampoo and conditioner, Aussie is amazing. I haven't used their shampoo and conditioner in a while. I've never used their mousse before. I mean, they're just a good basic moisturizing shampoo. It parts nice gloss. Oh, Garnier Fructis. Does Garnier Fructis have methyl isothiazolinone? Oh, Aussie has methyl isothiazolinone. Snap. Yeah, that's a pass. What about Garnier Fructis anti-breakage? Promising the world, aren't they? Fructis does not appear to have MI in it. Leave-in conditioner and a Grow Strong conditioner. I might have to snag this, see how it performs. It's been a while since I've dabbled in the Fructis. Garnier had some shampoos that were exclusively at Walmart a couple of years ago that I really liked. Like they had a charcoal one that was really good. Let me know in the comments if you've tried the Garnier Whole Blends. I'm always getting tempted by them just because of the packaging. $11.88. I think that's a pretty good price for shampoo, conditioner, and the leave-in conditioner. That, that's a pretty good value, don't you guys think? Stuff has gotten so expensive. Now, the silicone, silicones are not bad for your hair. Uh, that's a myth. They just help impart shine, manageability. 
All right, guys, there was some winning stuff here, mostly just fun, you know, tempted by all of the holiday packaging. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. On the end slate, I'm going to put my last Walmart Shop With Me video from a couple of months ago where I went through all of the anti-aging skincare products. So you're definitely gonna wanna check that one out next. But if you guys like this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.